currently displayed on your screen is a map of Jefferson County, Kentucky. The polygons on this map represent individual census tracts. The smaller the polygon, generally the higher the population levels. And there is underlying data to this map that we cannot see right now, so let's go look at that data. So to look at that data, I'm going to come over and right click on the name of the file. I'm going to say open the attribute table. And the attribute table gives me the underlying data. So if we look here, we will see that there is a field called population and then a field called no schooling. That means people who've never gone to school exclusively. Nursery school would be their highest level attainment Then in the next field. Kindergarten, the highest level attainment in the next field. First grade, grade two, grade three, all the way up through high school. If we continue on to our right, we'll see there is additional data such as high school diploma, GED, some college, less transfer first year, some college more than one year, associate, bachelor's, master's, professional school, doctorate, and then there's some more information about the entire file. What we want to do is sum some of these columns together. So to do that, we need to create a new field. We're going to come back over here to the upper left hand corner and there's a pull down and click on the pull down and you'll see there is an add field. Now there's other ways to do this, but we're going to do it by the add field method. We're going to call this column education. You cannot put special characters in the naming of fields, so if you want a space, you have to use like an underscore. We need to decide what kind of number this is. Well, we're going to add certain fields together and then divide it by the total population. So our numbers are always going to be less than one. Or if we make it into percentage, it will be 100 or less um, by doing a percentage. So there's going to be some potential decimals here. So I'm going to choose floating and click OK. And if I slide my cursor to the right, you will see I've created a new column called education, but there is no values in that column right now. To do that, we must turn on a field calculator. So I'm going to come and highlight this column, and then I'm going to right click. And we see the field calculator there, and it opens up a new dialog window. We're not going to worry about the parser, and we're not going to worry about advanced mathematical functions but we will be using the regular mathematical functions down here on the left. I'm sorry, down here on the right. And over here on the left, we will see all the different field names that were across the top. Right here we see that it says education equals. And so this is what education is going to equal. It's what we put here. Since we're going to sum a group of these columns together, we're going to start with an open parenthesis. We're going to go to no school, and then we're going to add to that. And I use the buttons here, plus nursery school, plus kindergarten, plus first grade, plus second grade, plus third grade. Those are the ones I want to add together. These are people that have very low educational levels. I'm going to close the parentheses, so that's going to all be summed together in a mathematical operation. And then I want to divide that by the total population. And when I would execute this, what that would give me then is a fractional number because what I have in the parentheses is always going to be less than the total population since I didn't add every column together. Well, I'd actually like to have this as a percentage, so I'm going to come in here and make a modification. After that parentheses, I'm going to put a multiplication sign, and I'm going to add 100. So that's going to change the fraction into a percentage. Now there still may be fractions where there's less than 1% of the population that meets this criteria, but um, we'll see how that falls out by looking at the attributes in just a moment. So to execute this, we would click OK. Now we could save the expression, but the expression is not saved in each cell like what we find when we do this in a spreadsheet. So this is not really a spreadsheet. This is a database that we're looking at. So we're going to add no school plus nursery school plus kindergarten plus first grade plus second grade plus third grade together. They're going to be summed together and then we're going to multiply that sum by 100 and divide it by the total population. When we click OK, it'll do a calculation and you can see data has been recorded now for us.
So we can now close the attribute table. We don't see any different on our map because we haven't done a symbology yet to display that information. So I'm going to double click to open up the layer properties. I'm on the symbology tab. We have categories, we have quantities, and we're going to use the quantities. And so the value that we're going to put in here is going to be education, that new field we created. There's an automatic divisor here used, so we have basically from zero to a half, a little bit more than a half a percent, from a half a percent to about one and a half percent, from about one and a half to three percent, from three percent to about six percent, and finally from six point six percent to somewhere around thirteen and a half percent. So those are our breaks. I the color ramp is okay. So the areas with the darkest blue are going to be those areas that have people with very low educational levels, at least a lot of people that have from no school up through only the third grade. So we'll click OK. And now we see that we have the county with different colors showing. The dark blue occupies three census tracts, sort of in the south central area of the county. Over to the right, um, area we see in the eastern part of the county um, low numbers so between zero and basically about one and a half percent and then we see different areas of green which are we have this lime colored green and this sort of teal colored green and these are areas that are between about one and a half and about six point six percent of the people that meet that criteria so we have now created a new field to display data on an area of interest for us.